Julia Grant was the Civil War's road warrior. Every biographer of Grant mentions that she was with him a lot, though they don't really say more than that. But her memoirs are full of tales of being in camp with him, and I learned that the Confederates tracked her movements, too. Julia's map, like the other maps in the book, is a rough approximation of her travels and doesn't show many of her shorter trips. No matter, it's clear that Julia traveled more than 10,000 miles during the Civil War to be with her husband. Why did Julia travel so much? I found the answer in her eyes. As amazing as it is that she traveled so far, often with four young children in tow, sometimes through enemy territory, it is even more astonishing when you realize that she did it with a disability. Julia Grant was born with an eye defect called strabismus. It made her eyes look crossed, which embarrassed her all her life. She always preferred to be photographed in profile. It also made it difficult, but not impossible, for her to read and write. She almost certainly never saw anything in three dimensions, and she had no depth perception, a not insignificant challenge in an, area of, in an era of travel by horses and carriages and ferries. But similar to Sherman's attraction to the disfigured Ellen, Ulysses fell in love with Julia despite her obvious disability. They fell in love and they stayed that way for nearly 40 years. Theirs is one of the great love stories of American history. 